Hello, welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. Today we thought we would show you the propulsion pack inside a Tesla, Model S or Model 3. There are of course two batteries in a Tesla. One of them is the 12 volt battery that powers all the electronics uh, and the main propulsion battery pack. And occasionally the propulsion battery packs have to be replaced. Now you might wonder, how do you replace a large battery like this? Well, first of all, the weight of that battery is from 1,000 to 1,200 pounds. It's also very large, so it doesn't just simply fit on a 4x4 pallet. So in order to ship something that large to a service center or to a repair place, it requires a custom crate in order to ship. And um, let's take some uh, measurements on this crate. Looks like the length is just an inch under eight feet. And the width is five and a half feet. The uh, combined weight of the crate and the battery, in this case, is 1,358 pounds. And what's in here is a Model 3 propulsion battery pack. And in a Tesla, the uh, propulsion packs are actually the entire base of the car. So we've just taken off all of the screws that mount this lid onto this crate. And what we're going to do now is open it up for you and we'll see what we've got inside. What we then do is we will disassemble this crate. We will put this battery on a hydraulic work surface and uh, one of two things will happen at that point. Either the pack will get repaired if it was sent to us for a battery pack repair, or the pack will go up inside a Tesla vehicle, Model X, Model 3, um, or a Model S. And then the old battery that comes out of that car will get placed back into the crate and then shipped to wherever. Today we're going to take you through a Tesla Model 3 propulsion battery disassembly for a repair project. The uh, pack weighs about 850 pounds. We have it on a hydraulic table here. And uh, what we're doing this morning is using a six point E9 socket, we're taking off all of these mounting screws. And in the front here, we have five point mounting screws on this lid and this is the cover for the high voltage section and some of the logic that's in this battery pack. So the next phase of the project once we have all of the mounting screws for this top lid removed is to break the seal that goes all the way around this battery pack to fundamentally make it waterproof. The uh, procedure using a putty knife is to get in between the top lid and the housing of the battery pack. And this takes a bit of time because you have to go all the way across and uh, remove all of that caulk material. Now when these battery packs are remanufactured at Tesla, actually in uh, Lathrop, California, they end up taking these lids off of either Model S, X, or 3 batteries. And it's usually a destructive process. We have to take quite a bit more time to remove this lid because we don't get a replacement lid from Tesla. In Lathrop, they simply have new ones that they uh, replace with that, with that upper lid. Once we remove this lid, it will expose all of the battery modules that are inside this pack. And then we can begin to isolate what's wrong with the pack, whether it's in the battery management system or in the electronics, the logic, or whether it is a parasitic or dying cell in one of the modules. All right, so we've begun to take this Model 3 lid off. We have most of the caulk opened up around the lid. I have my PPE gloves on. We're working with high voltage at this point. We took the penthouse cover off of this battery pack. Here are some of the electronics. This is the charger for the Model 3 battery pack. 
and what I've just done is disconnected the pyro fuse. There are four module sections that run the length of this battery pack. There are 100 volts each. There are two of them connected in series here, two of them here, and then they are bridged with this pyro fuse which gives it a total of 400 volts. So in order to split this battery pack into half the voltage, which is a bit safer, this pyro fuse, by uh, removing it, we have 200 and 200 volts at this point. Now, I'm going to check this pyro fuse for continuity. The reason being is, when these cars get into accidents, the pyro fuse, for safety reasons, will blow. And I have, a, I have an ohm meter here, and we're going to take a reading, and it looks like this pyro fuse is open or blown. There's no resistance. Here's what it should look like if it's a good fuse. So inside this pyro fuse are sections and like an airbag there is a charge that actually blows and destroys those connections essentially opening up this fuse so it no longer has continuity. And that is a safety device in these battery packs. From here we're going to continue to work our way around this lid and eventually remove this entire top portion of this Model 3, Tesla Model 3 battery pack.